Animals here have been seized from black markets, illegal owners, or arrive as rescues. They'll get rehabilitated and hopefully return to the wild. I've shown up just in time to photograph one of the world's most endangered primates. Okay, monkey business. We're in monkey business. Every shoot's different. It's kind of just problem solving. Let's see if we can solve the problem of this. Let me make sure he's back in the back. He's not, he's right there up front. This is a pied tamarind, a critically endangered monkey, found only around Manaus, the largest city in the Amazon rainforest. As the city grows deeper into the Amazon, the pied tamarind's habitat shrinks. So how are these tamarinds doing in the wild? Now they are in the 25 most endangered primates in the world. In the world? Yeah. Wow. How drastic is the decline now? We think that in, in the last 20 years, they decreased more than 50% of their geographic range. Really? So the pied tamarind in here, he's one of the top 25 most endangered primates in the world. Yes. This little guy in here. Yes. Well, it's an honor to be here and to see him. Yeah, yeah. It's great, it's great. Like most primates, pied tamarinds have complex social behaviors, like tongue flicking. It can signal recognition, suspicion, or curiosity. Tamarins live throughout South America and come in all forms. Cotton tops, red-crested, mustached, emperor, white-handed, golden-handed, golden lions, and golden-headed. Pied means having two or more colors, so it's only right we photograph him on both backgrounds. The black and white backgrounds are both already in there, so we put a towel up, slide the black out. Okay. Yeah. The animal remains in there on white. Down low. Yeah. Okay, keep the poop. Small primates are really hard to do because they're just fast and smart. He's getting some grasshoppers right now as a little mid-shoot snack. One more? Yeah. Man, I hate being a grasshopper. It happens so fast, you know? So tamarinds, as a lot of them are from the forests that have been hammered here. And this pied tamarind, they study them in little forest fragments here in the city of Manaus. They don't do well in forest fragments. They need bigger forest, obviously. Traffic's bad, dogs are bad. You know, like anything a city brings, it's hard on these guys. So one of the things we want to do is talk about what tamarinds need to survive in the long term. That's one of the reasons we're here. When you lose something like this, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy of epic proportions. So that's where I come in. Let me try to stop that kind of foolishness. Meeting animals like the pied tamarind reminds me why I started the photo art. Not just to preserve them in a frame, but to get us to care about species while there's still time to save them. 